All right, John. I'm gonna do the wide receivers. Top five wide receivers in the league. Um, coming in at number five, um, Odell Beckham. Um, last year, um, I mean, just the hands. Um, his uh, ability, uh, yards after the catch. Um, Mayfield had a bad year. The Browns just had a terrible year, but he still had, um, despite having a bad year, he still had 1,035 yards, um, four touchdowns, 64.7 yards a game. Um, that's it. Danny made the playoffs, but Odell Beckham, we already know he's a good uh, route runner, yards after the catch. He great yards after the catch and hands, and he's a good route runner too. Um, I give him, I give him the best. Uh, let's be to him and Hopkins for the best hands in the league. Uh, the fourth best receiver is um, the fourth best receiver. I got Michael Thomas. I know he led the lead in um, yards, but um, like I said, I don't just look at the stats. Um, but anyway, he did have a record breaking season 149 receptions, the most in the league. 1,725 yards, nine touchdowns, 107, eight, 107.8 yards per game. He led in three categories, reception, yards, and uh, yards per game. Um, playoff passing, um, well, playoff receiving, I'm sorry. Um, he had seven receptions for 70 yards, not bad. Uh, no touchdowns, though. Uh, for the Saints, they lost to the Vikings in a, in a wild card round. It was a great game, though. Like, people were saying the Saints choked. The Saints didn't choke, man. I mean, they did miss that field goal, but... The Saints didn't choke. The Vikings is a good team, man. The Vikings got Dalvin Cook. He a top 10 running back. He got Diggs and um, Thielen. They both top 15 receivers. And Cousins is a top 15 quarterback. So they, uh, Rudolph is a top 10 tight end. They have a great team, like on offense, especially. Um, they played in the dome. So it was like, it's a home field advantage. But it's like playing, like, if you're playing in a dome, ain't no wind blowing, you know, stuff like that. Uh, anything can happen. It ain't like they got blown out, like, embarrassed or nothing. It was a great game, man. Like, they didn't choke. Um, uh, just because off of athleticism alone, Julio Jones, number three. Um, I guess you could put Julio on four, but uh, Julio Jones had 99 catches for 1,394 yards, six touchdowns, 92.9 yards per game. Um, they didn't make the playoffs, so he hasn't been in the playoffs since 2017. Uh, he's a physical dominant player. And then DeAndre Hopkins, um... I got DeAndre Hopkins number two. Um, last year, the year uh, 2000, no, 2018, he didn't drop a pass. Um, I had 1,572 yards, 11 touchdowns. And this year, they just passed 1,165 yards, seven touchdowns. So he got the best hands to me than Beckham. Uh, Hopkins than Beckham or Beckham than Hopkins, however you want to put it. And then number one, I think at his peak, um, on this list, I got Julio. Uh, well, I didn't rank Odell Beckham yet or Michael Thomas or Hopkins. It's too early. But uh, Julio, I got him top 15 all the time, like 12 or 13 that area. And then Antonio Brown, like 8 or 9. Antonio Brown, like 7 through 10, I mean. Because he already made four, four uh, first-team all pros. That's more than Michael Irvin, Steve Smith, and Chris Carter. Um, and then he dominated, man. Um, I know it's going back too far, but uh, he had 2013, uh, 14, uh, 1,000. This is Antonio Brown, 1,499. Then he had uh, 14, he had 1,698. Then he hit 15, 1,834. And then um, 2016, he missed the game and still had 1,284 with 12 touchdowns. In 2017, 1,533. 2018, um, this year I got to go by because he only played one game in uh, 2019. He went from 30 to 31 age, so I don't think he lost a step. Uh, 1,000, he had one, 104 catches for uh, 1,297, 15 touchdowns, 86.5 yards per game. So that's my top five. Antonio Brown, number one to me uh, when he healthy. DeAndre Hopkins, number two. Uh, Julio Jones, number three, uh, Michael Thomas, number four, and uh, Odell Beckham, number five.